Hello everyone, in this video, we will have a quick demo on how to export data of Parquet file and CSV file from Azure Storage account using serverless SQL pool and Apache Spark pool in Azure Synapse workspace. Now I am in the Azure Synapse workspace. Let us open the Synapse Studio. In the Synapse Studio, first let us check the source file which we will be exploring now. So for that, let us go to the data tab. In the data tab, under the linked option, we are already connected to a Azure Data Lake Storage Gen2 account. So in the Gen2 account, we have two different container, sales CSV and the sales Parquet container. So in the sales CSV container, we have sales product.csv file. In the sales Parquet container, we have sales product.parquet file. So in the two different container, we have two files in the different format. In the sales CSV, we have CSV file. In the sales Parquet, we have the Parquet file. First, we will be exploring this file using serverless SQL pool. Next, we will be exploring this file using Apache Spark pool. First, we will explore the Parquet file using the serverless SQL pool. So, to do that, let us right click on this file, click on the new SQL script and click on the select of 100. This auto generated script contains the open rosette function which connects the remote data source and return the data in the form of set of rows. It takes two parameters full URI of the file and the file format. Here the file format is Parquet. So that's why the format value is Parquet. Now let us run the script on the serverless SQL pool. It is already connected to the building serverless SQL pool. So let us just run it. So it is retrieving the query result. Yeah, now the query is successfully executed. So there are total four columns. All the data are coming from the sales product.parquet file. Now let us export the CSV file. So for that, let us right click on the sales product.csv file and click on the new SQL script and select the top 100 rows. Similarly, this auto generated script contains the open rosette function. So, it also contains the full URI of the sales product.csv file and the format of the file is CSV. Now, let us run this script on the serverless SQL pool. This is also already connected to the built in serverless SQL pool. Now, let us run it. See the query executed successfully. Here see above the column there are C1, C2, C3 and the C4 values. So this is because we have to provide a parameter here just to notify that this CSV file contains the header. So let us put the value here header row is equal to true. So this is what we have to put because our source CSV file contains the header row. Now let us run the query. Now see those value actually gone C1, C2, C3, C4 gone. Now we can see four columns and all the data coming from the CSV file. So this is how we can export the CSV and the Parquet file using SQL script on the serverless SQL pool. Now let us explore the CSV and the Parquet file using the Spark pool. So to explore this file using Apache Spark pool, I have already created a Spark pool, POC Spark pool. Let us go to the data tab and first explore the Parquet file. So to explore this Parquet file using Spark pool, First, let us right click on this Parquet file, click on the new notebook and click on this load to data frame. Here one notebook is created, notebook 1. So here Spark API will load the data from this Parquet file. This is full URI of the sales product.parquet file and the format of the file is Parquet. First, let us attach this notebook to the Spark pool. So here we can click this POC Spark pool. Now there is no active Spark pool session exists. So we can start the Spark session by running this notebook. So let us run this notebook so that Spark session will be started and this code will be executed. So let us run this notebook. Now it is trying to connect to the Spark pool session. Once the Spark session is created, this notebook will be executed on the Spark pool and it takes few minutes to start the Spark session. Now the Spark session is ready. Now the notebook execution is in progress. Now this is executed successfully. So here we can see total four column and all the data are coming from this Parquet file. So this is very simple way to export the data from the storage account using the Spark pool. Now let us export the CSV file using this Spark pool. Now let us go to the sales CSV container and let us right click on this sales product.csv file. Here click on the new notebook and click the load to data frame. So here also one notebook is created to export the data from the CSV file. Let us copy this code to export the CSV file and paste it here in the notebook one. 
where the spark session is active. So here spark API will load the data from the CSV file. This is full URI of the CSV file and the file format is CSV. So it is saying if header exists, uncomment the line below. So as our CSV file contain the header row, so we have to uncomment it. Now let us run this notebook. Now it is running. Here see as the spark session was already available so this notebook run on the spark pool immediately it took just few seconds to run so here we can see total four columns and all the data also coming from the csv file so in this way we can explore both csv and the parquet file from the storage account using either serverless sql pool or apache spark pool hope this video helps you thanks for watching